This video is sponsored by Tupelo Designs LLC where U.S. shipping is always free with no minimum purchase and they are also home of the daily deals and be sure to sign up for the reward program. I'll be making a card today with this Honey Bee stamp set and it's called Blah Bunny and I'm making a card for the Coffee Lover Blog Hop and I will hashtag that down below. And I'm going to start with some Nina Classic Crest Solar White cardstock, and I'm sticking that in my uh, Tim Holtz stamp platform. And that piece of cardstock is five and a half by four and a quarter. And I will stamp out the bunny and the coffee cup with Memento Tuxedo Black Ink. Bunny and the coffee cup are now stamped out so I'm going to do some easy coloring with Spectrum Noir markers. <laughs> And that was super easy coloring because I just made the bunny white. And there you can see it close up, turned out super cute. And this is a piece of cardstock I had in my stash. It kind of looks like the fall sky. And that's another piece of, uh, that's actually thin paper and that's got a fall type theme to it. And that's MFT uh, stitched hillside die. And I'm going to cut out the the leaf paper with that hillside die and that's three inches by five and a quarter and the sky is four inches by five and a quarter inches and there's my hillside all cut out with the leaf paper and I'm going to glue that on with some dry adhesive onto my sky background and this is the lawn fawn rectangle die it's the dotted die and I'm going to put that where I want it and cut it out in my die machine. And once I have that background piece cut out in my die machine, I am going to glue it onto that brown piece of cardstock. And that brown piece of cardstock is four inches by five and a quarter. And I will just glue that on with some dry adhesive. And once I glue that onto the brown cardstock, I will then glue the brown cardstock and the card front onto a standard A2 size orange card base. Now I'm just seeing where I'm going to put the bunny and once I figure out where I'm going to put the bunny and the coffee cup, I will glue that down with our glitter glue. And 
before I glue down the coffee cup, I want to add the steam, that the little steam uh, swirly thingies. So I just put that the steam on a small stamp block, and I'm going to stamp that right onto the bunny because it's a white area, and I know that's where I want the coffee cup to be. And then I will glue on the coffee cup with art glitter glue. It's almost finished. I just need to add the sentiment, but look at that blah bunny. <laughs> How cute is that? And for the sentiment, I am going to use uh, one of these long speech bubble dies and they're essential uh, speech uh, bubbles from MFT. And I'm going to use that long one. And I printed out mornings before coffee be like dot, dot, dot. And uh, I just printed that out on my computer onto cardstock and I will cut that out with that long speech bubble. To ensure the die doesn't move, I'm just going to place it onto my cardstock after I cut it down a little bit. And I'll just use washi tape to do that and then I'll put it through uh, my die machine. Now I'm just seeing where I want that speech bubble and I am not going to put it straight. I am going to put it crooked because what do I always say? If you put it crooked, you don't have to worry about getting it straight. <laughs> so I'm just getting a feel for where it should go. And I have some foam tape, some double sided foam tape, foam tape. And I'm going to cut some little strips and then I'm going to put that onto the back of the speech bubble and then I will adhere it to the card. And there it is with that cute speech bubble and now I'm going to add some sequins. To adhere the sequins I'm going to use a jewel picker to pick up the sequins and this is a Marvy jewel picker and this is one of my favorite tools. It has a fat sticky end and a tiny sticky end and you don't have to squeeze any goop out of it or anything. If it uh, starts getting unsticky you just take a baby wipe and wash it. But I'm just going to glue these sequins on with um, art glitter glue. And my card is finished. My fall card for the Coffee Lovers Blog Hop. And it turned out super cute. I personally don't drink coffee, but I thought this was a fair representation. <laughs> The items I use will be listed down below along with the blog for the Coffee Lovers Blog Hop. If you're new to my channel, welcome and be sure to hit that subscribe button. And uh, I will also have some other interesting videos to the left. Thanks for watching. Bye.